guys welcome back to my channel so today I have got something a little bit different for you something that I've never done on my channel and that is a vintage clothing haul um, so I went to a really amazing well it's a fair basically so you go down there and you pay wholesale prices for loads of vintage clothes and it's called the Vintage Kilo Sale and they actually came to my hometown of Bournemouth. So obviously I got tickets with my boyfriend and we had a lot of fun going through, rummaging through all the vintage clothes. Okay, so I've just got a nice cup of tea on the go as well. Mm. This is my big bag that I got from Vintage Kilo Sale. So how it works is you go in there and you fill a bag and you only pay £15 per kilo of clothes. Um, so they've actually got like a weighing machine in there so you can sort of track it as you go. So I'm gonna just get started. Before I go any further, just to say guys, this is actually a vintage jacket that I'm wearing, which I didn't get from the vintage kilo sale, but I did get this off eBay. If anyone's interested, um, I can let you know the seller. It was £25, which I know like normal Levi jackets, brand new or at least 90 pounds so i was really pleased with that bargain so the first thing i'm going to show you is this shirt so this is a really funky uh crazy 80s or 90s style shirt it's um pastel which is one of the things that absolutely drew me to it some of the stuff have like the labels ripped out so you don't even know the size um it's just like an oversized for a girl oversized obviously short sleeved funky shirt which i thought would be great for like the summer i'm not actually sure about this next one like i was like should i get it i don't know it's kind of bright so <laughs> this is it um it's the color is gorgeous so it's bright green with pink boats on this is a medium, but yet this actually seems bigger than the previous shirt that I showed you. So yeah, the sizes vary really, it's, it's a bit crazy. This is just hanging on a Primark hanger, so don't take any notes of that size, it's just an old hanger. Um, yeah, so I love the color of that. Really cute, lovely colors. This one is one of the long sleeves shirts I picked up and it's got this crazy like big bold print on it. It's dark blue with like a goldy, browny orange print which actually if you look closely it's got leopard print patches with like chains and belts sort of print on it i just thought it was so funky i had to have it so i put it in my my bag i was like yes i'm having this um again i don't know what size this is um or if it's a man's or a woman's but it's so funky um it does have light shoulder pads in it which I'm not massively keen on shoulder pads, but they're so light in this one that it doesn't matter. Anyway, to be honest, normally if there is shoulder pads in it anyway, you can actually just take it out so it's not a problem. So they did have a lot of denim shirts and I found this one, which I think is so nice. Again, the size is ripped out, but it's like a very baggy, so I've had to roll the sleeves up shirt and it's literally been reworked. I guess someone's cropped it really short and they've just literally got the scissors and gone which I always think is a really cool look. I love crop stuff. Um, I just think this is perfect and so nice for spring and summer just to like throw over an outfit. I got another shirt here which is a man's shirt. You can tell it's a man's shirt. Yes, this is another short sleeve one. Very similar to the other one I showed you before um, but this one's got like pastel blues and like oranges in it's a very unusual print very very cool i got this ladies shirt now this has got shoulder pads as well has it has it got shoulder pads no sorry this hasn't got shoulder pads <laughs> i thought i had shoulder pads um this is very more this is a much more feminine design the collar you can do it up high but i think i'll probably have it just like this with a nice like necklace like what i'm wearing um really funky flower vintagey print on there um it's sort of like three quarter sleeves and it's fairly cropped which i like and i think this looks really nice with a denim skirt so got that one they had so many like cool rails of knitwear and i'm really drawn to knitwear i love like sounds funny but granny prints like proper like flowery embroidered prints but i tried to not get too much because 
obviously the weather's hot and I know it's just gonna be sat there in the wardrobe and it's just gonna be a waste of money. So, um, but I did get drawn to this jumper. So it's this pastel leopard print design. Um, it's very, very long. So as you can see, it's like way past the weight, the waist length. Um, really love the print on it. It's something actually very similar to, I saw one like this, this, this previous winter in Topshop, but obviously it was a croppy one. Um, so I just thought that was really cool. I got myself another one of these shirts. So, um, it's another guy's it's another guy's shirt short sleeves viscose the size again has been ripped out of this one so no idea but it fits me very oversized nice baggy design for the summer um it's very 80s again which i love it's got purples pastel greens and grays and a bit of blue in it so I really like the cool patterns and the colour combination in that. I just think it's really cool. Then I have, oh, it's falling off the hanger. This material is very slippery, <laughs> not slippery, like shiny, if you know what I mean, but it still feels good quality. Um, oh yeah, the other thing you have to watch out is some of the stuff will have stains on and holes. So you just got to have a look through, look through and inspect them. Um, but normally stains you can wash off, to be honest which is fine, you're getting yourself a bargain. So if it's too damaged, then I would just leave it. Some of the stuff was really damaged, I was like, uh, no, I'm not going there. But some of the stuff was fine. So yeah, this is a really, really baggy, definitely a man's shirt. Um, extremely long and long sleeves. Pattern is gorgeous, so it's much darker. This is probably more evening-y. Um, I personally really love, like, I know you can wear the shirt really like long and baggy, but if you want to sort of make it a bit more feminine make it a bit like so you don't feel swamped then i quite like to tuck i like to tie it up so it's high here so you can see more of your figure and it's a bit more flattering um particularly with high-waisted jeans mom jeans a denim skirt you know denim shorts for example the next one is this now this <laughs> um this is my last shirt actually that i've got no more shirts after this this is extremely how can I put it? Funky. <laughs> it reminds me, this is very 90s, 80s. The little squiggles on it. I love it. I love the squiggles. I think it's so, so funky. Um, now, it's an oversized fit, but I love the fact that it comes down at the sides. This one's different because the collar actually does up like round. It's not like a fold down collar. So that brings quite a cool edge to it. So I like to actually have this up high and make the most of that feature. I think it's a nice touch. The colours are like khaki, burgundy, probably a bit more of an autumnal slash winter look really compared to my other shirts that are a bit more pastel but um, I just couldn't resist the pattern. <laughs> I just thought it was really cool. Uh, I can't even see the size. It says 44. I have no idea what that is. Um, again you just gotta like go in, try try it on or in fact interesting fact i didn't try any of the shirts on i just grabbed a load of mediums and larges and just hope for the best because they don't wear a lot of shirts just shove them in the bag um if it's a thing like a jacket i did try a jacket on they try the jumper on because obviously they're heavier um so that was my last shirt that i got and now i want to show you the incredible jacket that i got so now again this won't be for everyone it's quite like i said grandma -y, sort of grandma chic but I love grandma chic now so here we are it's this black cardigan it's medium thickness um, it's black and then wait for it here is the gorgeous print here so you have on it it's bright green and purple and it's got like glittery thread stitched in so it's a little bit shiny it is a bit more festive <laughs> if I'm being honest, because it's of the green. But again, like, if it's a cool day or an evening, I'd like to just throw this on and layer up, because I just think it's so cute. And on the inside of the material, it's actually got loads of green lines and stuff, which is really cool. Now, when I show you this, guys, it's not gonna be for everyone. I wouldn't describe this as something that's beautiful. I would describe it as something very unique, something almost like a grandpa would wear. <laughs> And that probably sounds a bit weird to you guys, but if you're kind of into that old 
vintagey print. You may you may like this, so I'll show you guys anyway. But oh my god, it's proper proper 80s. So it's this massive. It's going to be hard to show you, but I I will insert a clip of me wearing it. It's this massive oversized jacket. It's kind of like half cardigan. God, it's kind of washed me out. It's like a half a cardigan, but half a jacket. It's very heavy, and it's got like leather panels there. Um, and it's got these massive sleeves, which obviously I have to roll up because it's extremely, because they're extremely long. And yeah, so it's got this grandpa print all over it. Really, really baggy oversized, but I think it's so cool. So yeah, but I'm not gonna be able to get much wear out of it because it's obviously because it's summer, but yeah, I will get some wear out of it when, um, when the winter comes. I got some really pretty like floaty scarves to show you. Um, some of them are like very short, so they're gonna be ideal for like a little headscarf or something. So I got this leopard skin one. So as you can see, it's got leopard print and a swirly print all around the edges. And then in the inside, it's got this lovely caramel color. So I got that one. This one, when I saw this, I literally thought, if a scarf was a unicorn, it would be this. How cool is this? So it's all of these unicorny colours. It's just a lovely soft scarf. This would look really cool round as a hair accessory or just like a nice little scarf just to brighten up an outfit. And this was one of my favourites. Um, this is a more, this is a proper scarf. So it's a really long scarf. And as you can see, it's got all these, it's like got the gold swirly pattern and black and yeah it's probably just easier to show you like this than to explain but it's a very very long scarf so looks nice properly as a scarf there this one which i think is amazing i didn't realize this till i got it home but it's actually got koalas all over it <laughs> that i'll show you guys as you can see it's got koalas and if you didn't know it was a koala it actually says it there koala Koala, yeah. So uh, I thought that, I think that must have come from Australia. So, so cute. Also got this very funky scarf. This has got flowers and roses all over. So it's got bright oranges, greens, and pinks all in it. Really, really pretty. Again, I think that would look nice in the hair. This one, so beautiful. This is a lot bigger, so this can be used for a scarf as well as a headband, head, hair accessory. It's this gorgeous silky pink colour, metallic -y, pinky purple, and I love this the satinness of it, it's so pretty. And yeah, so that was all of the things I got from the Kilo sale. And then the last thing I got was from Depop. Depop is like my new obsession. Um, I need to get on there, I'm gonna start selling. I've got loads of stuff actually, guys, that I'm gonna start to sell. Um, as soon as that's live and I've got everything listed, I will um, launch that for you and I'll let you know on my channel and my Instagram, all my social media links, etc. what that Depop is. But at the moment, I've just been buying bits and pieces. So I actually bought these secondhand Doc Martens in cherry red. Um, I've been after these for quite a long time, actually. I'm denied about them. I was in like a shoe shop recently. I very nearly got them new, but I just couldn't justify the budget. Um, and then I sort of had a think about it and then I saw these on Depop. So yeah, they, I got them for 70 pounds, which I think is quite good. I think they can be, they're about 105 pounds, sometimes like 115 pounds, sometimes more depending on the style for brand new. So I thought that was a pretty good bargain. Um, the thing with Doc Martens is they do take some breaking in. So I thought actually it's quite good that I've got some that aren't brand new because it's just going to be less, it's going to be less painful. Um, the only thing I probably am going to do is change the laces because I'd like some bright yellow laces. I think that would look pretty funky to match the stitching. But yeah, not a lot I can say. Um, if you're thinking of getting some guys, definitely go to a shoe shop first. Try them on because I did actually have to size down. So yeah, that's my advice anyway. But So 
I tried them on in the shop, then I looked around on Depop and eBay and then got myself a bargain. Yeah, so that was everything guys. That was all the bargains I picked up. Let me in the comments know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Anyway, I hope you all had a really good day and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye! Oh, don't forget to follow me on social media if you're interested in updates. That's all linked in the description below and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!